Hey guys, this is Creelix, and I'm um, in response to the video I made earlier about um, how I converted um, Skylands to the Anvil format. I thought I'd make a quick tutorial in case any um, any of you are having troubles with your worlds converting. So um, I'll be using MC Edit Testing 289, which I believe is the last version before it went to open source. Um, I'm using it because, although it's not compatible with Anvil formats directly, um, the open source versions aren't quite um, stable enough yet. So, let me go ahead and load a world here. Let's see, I will use... Ah. I'll do this. So this world is in the MC region format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly up with W as far as I can. Hmm. Yours may look a little different. So what I'm going to do is drag and select all the chunks that I can see. And what I'm going to do here is hit the Select Chunks button so that it'll select the entire chunk above and below to the limit of the map. And from there, I'm going to export it. And um, what this will do is it'll create a schematic file that contains these chunks. And um, depending on the size of your world and the power of your computer, this might take a long time. Okay, so I just save that there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this because I think I've got my schematic ready. So let me create a new world. Um, I'm going to switch to Flatland. Um, it's just a little easier on the computer that way. And create... So it's building a Flatland for me right now. Da -da -da. Okay, so from there I need to hit this import button and find the schematic that I made earlier of the old level. Open, it'll take a while. Click to place and import. Now, like I said earlier, if you've got a really huge world like Skylands, this could take a very, very long time. But, um, just be patient and wait for it to go through. Let's see, to save you the trouble, I'm going to pause until it's about done. Alright, we're back and it's almost done. This world is fairly small for testing purposes, so um, it didn't take all that long. Okay, so um, if you've never used this program before, it's red to me to show that it hasn't updated the content. You can see it gradually filling in there. But even before it's done, you can go ahead and save it. And again, this this is actually this is probably the longest part here. So, um, but once it's done, you can go ahead and close out of MC Edit, and, um, open up the new level that you created in Minecraft, and hopefully it'll convert to Anvil format just fine, and you should be good to go. Alright, thanks for watching.